So I have seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness about four times this weekend. Now, you could say that's a bit excessive, but for me, if you've seen my other reviews, you know that I have been very unsure about this film. I don't know really what my true feelings are for this film. It's a love and hate relationship. Not even hate. It's just more of a love and not or love or don't know what to feel relationship. Some may call it a strange relationship. <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop. But my point is, um, so when I went to go see these, I went for the second time and I started to, to get a better understanding of what I feel about this film. And then I went for the third time. And then the third time was kind of the same thing for me. But the fourth time, it, it clicked. It clicked for me. I think what my problem was is that a lot of it had to do with my theater experience for the first time. It seems like the movies that I go to see alone or at least on my own or at least with one person, um, I can enjoy the films a lot more. But for some reason, when I went to go see this film opening night and the things I had to go through to get to it beforehand and after, and a lot of other things in my life going on, I couldn't really concentrate on really just enjoying this film for what it is. If anything, I still believe that this film makes Doctor Strange somewhat of a B character, or not supportive character, but kind of like A and B, where Doctor Strange and Wanda are still the main characters of this film, but it just felt more like... It felt like more of Wanda was in the front of that. But now I understand why I felt that way. Because I've come to this conclusion that I freaking love the Scarlet Witch and Wanda and Elizabeth Olsen. You know, I'm a big fan of her, but this film, it just emphasized on that. But for some reason, I couldn't get behind that because this is a Doctor Strange film and not because it's a woman or man thing. It's just like, I, I, I cause, if you know my review on Doctor Strange, you know I had so I even had a love and hate relationship with the first Doctor Strange movie. So I really wanted to love this one because you know it's my first time seeing Doctor Strange on the big screen. So I wanted to really have that same um, enjoyment like everyone else did. So basically, I freaking love this film. Scarlet Witch is my favorite character right now in the MCU besides Spider-Man. And this film overall was fun, Sam Raimi-esque, action-packed, um, story derivative, and very, I love the whole theme about sacrifice and doing the right thing. I love, I love that about this film. I give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10.